All right, what's up guys? Today we've got a video where we're looking over a gameplay that we recorded a while back, but because of the Elgato, we didn't get any audio for it. Um, we're basically taking this to talk through Surge, where it like started and where we want to go with it. We've got all the team here except for Riots. Um, basically, Surge started roughly a year ago, so in April 2015, and since then it's been a few different people playing on it and we've got our new org manager james shout out to james yeah shout out to james um we've all been playing together a while now so we just thought we'd take this to talk through uh and then we've got alex to go through some of our sponsors what they're doing for us and like how you can use them to get discounts all right first of all all the sponsors links and all codes will be in the description below first one up is cinch our code is surge 5 off this uh, this uh, company basically builds controllers with like paddles on the back a bit like scuff but they're buttons and you can customize controllers from playstation to xbox and uh, it's basically a better version of your normal controller I think that's a big thing. Yeah, custom, custom controllers are really big no, it's, personal. Duty. it's personal um, yeah exactly it allows for like the paddles in the back or the buttons allow for better reactions. So and yeah, you, you, you don't have to take your fingers off or play claw like all the time. Especially with boots that are more man. And then <clears throat> next one is no scope glasses. These are basically glasses to enhance your performance and your vision whilst you're playing these uh, video games. Uh, you can use them on anything. Glasses are basically, but um, you see like OG uh, Ops Gaming. Karma and formal, they use them. Um, the objective. But basically, just a, a sponsor the for um, like performance and hard. Um, next, we have Six Nutrition, a US based um, uh, company which does all things from protein to um, what we found interesting, which was the uh, was hydration. Uh, yeah. They're like a Hydro drink. energy. Uh, hydro energy. They do um, three different ones. Hydro energy, which is I'm mean, pretty sure it's like a raspberry flavour, and then hydro focus, which is I can't remember that, but I think it might be like a peach or a mango. But they do hydro focus. So obviously, they're pretty similar. One gives you energy, yeah. one gives you better focus. They also do a hydro performance, which is blueberry, and that's pretty much what caught our eye. The fact that it I mean, it's sports nutrition, but that product in general, we thought could definitely help us with it gaming. Comes into gaming, and it's unlike something like like G Fuel, it's not only focused on gaming; it's quite got more yeah, I mean, professional like, feel around it. Yeah, I mean we're um, I'd say we all play sport or do a physical activity outside of the game, so it it's, it's, it's good in other things as well. So yeah, so that's so what it, we promote. It helps us in basic just everything we do, and then it helps in the COD. Um, and any other games we sort of play. So, um, our next one is online key store. Basically, from CSGO to Destiny to COD, it's basically you can go on their website and they'll they have like codes or they'll have like just like discounted yeah, products. Yeah, discount products. So, DLCs, you get discounted or you, they give away stuff. And it, it's just basically helpful for like giveaways which we can do for you. There was one the other day actually <coughs> I saw, I think, I'm pretty, I think it was um, CSGO, but it was a case or something and it had been discounted already, the whole like case range was discounted 50%, but online key store discounted over 33%, so I mean, you, you take that, that's a lot, that's, that's like 83% off. And bear in mind like, you could spend a lot of money on cases and stuff, especially like in your preferred game. So And with stuff like COD where they've added points now it makes a big difference getting things like that just doing openings in general getting different guns so and then the final one we have is cart lotion basically um because quite a few of us uh gizzer especially gets quite sweaty hands when we're playing it can be quite tense so it's basically designed to stop our hands from like sweating as much and keeps our hands stuck to the controller um, we've there will be a um, video review coming by that. By um, way, we have like we've got some products, so we're gonna go over them. But <clears throat> it just helps in in gaming. Grips. It grips, grips onto the controller, thing. means you're less likely to slip and make any like silly mistakes, which could cause you the game. So that's about it for our sponsors. So I'll, I'm gonna talk about the schedule. So um, <clears throat> we've got a new schedule. So usually, well, before this video is uploaded, was it Wednesdays and Saturdays yeah. we try to upload. I know this past week we haven't been good, but we've all been really busy. It's a half term, so everyone's been 
like I mean we've all got on but everyone's yeah. been off doing different no things no scheduled to be out yeah, yeah we've been out not like I say if the Elgato hadn't messed up this would have been on but we thought um, like we did we thought last week actually it'd be better to do what as a team here now just talk yeah, to you sure. so um, but yeah so we have a new schedule so it'll be Wednesdays and Saturdays still and they should be GB so that might be 2v2s or it might be a 4v4 3v3 it really depends who's on at the yeah. time because we're all really busy with like our, just our daily lives because our sports like it takes up four out of five of my uh, uh, seven of my days and then it's just getting on with the other guys who will have those days filled up as well so and then school and A levels school yeah. A levels I mean they're obviously big so focus on those as well you are last and then, um, but the other day the, the, the big news really is the uh, Monday so in as well as a Wednesday and Saturday there'll be a Monday upload too and on that Monday upload there will be a pub stomping gameplay and the idea is that to try and expose ourselves some more and get some more like coverage of all the players is if we um, do a different player each week and we come up with a little rotor and uh, we rotate through the players oh, and they just life. do a pub, pub stomping gameplay so maybe like a 30 and 5, 13 and 2 sort of FFA or maybe a domination say 60, 70 kills I mean, just, so that just sort of vary a bit just games when we're going off, yeah. games where we're doing well, and then obviously we're talking over them, and then we'll it'll allow us to uh, express how we are. So yeah, I think it'd be better because we'll get to know the players a bit more. We want the Monday to be like more of an open slot sort of thing. So maybe down the line after we've like introduced ourselves more, going on to doing like Q and A stuff like that. Even yeah, like, comment if you want a Q and A. That'd be yeah, or Q and A or team more. videos are a bit different. Like yeah. not not just the same thing. Yeah. And then uh, we've also we also have another series that John and I are thinking of. Quit so it's going to be Con and John's one v ones. So we go rotate through the maps. Obviously, it's sort of a mini series, yeah. but we've uh, you've seen this in the two v two already. But we will do a one v one instead, just as like a friendly sort of joke, muck around. Like but, side like that. Yeah, but yeah, we're going to do a one v one series. Let us know again what you think of that. Give the video a like if you think that's a good idea. And then. Um, I think I think another thing I want to talk about in this video really is the team itself. So who the team's composed of. Mm. So if you want to start, Drift. Uh, I'm a Drift or Alex. Um, been in since Ghosts really. Uh, Gizza picked me up for his uh, his team at couple that he had at that time. Uh, filled in for uh, whoever wasn't there. Got on well. Started playing. Then started hitting up the competitive scene. Uh, we went back to Black Ops 2 um, when um, Advanced Warfare, Advanced Warfare sort that's of when we hit. started playing together properly. Which yeah, that's when everyone Ghost, sort Black of came up into the sort of scene was ghosts to the Advanced Warfare scene. Advanced Warfare, none of us really enjoyed oh, yeah, it or really, yeah, could, right. could really get going on that, so we all went back well, to Black Ops 2. Well, the thing is as well, that's the end of PCS scenes, so that limited us already. Yeah, it limited us, but um, we're quite a young team. Um, well, to be fair, we've got a lot of experience. Like, we we have, have got, got 18, but we, we have got a lot of experience. Like, for me and Gizzo, we've had both experience of playing with some people who are now in sort of that pro So, you might, some of you might know Zed, Zach Denya for uh, XL Esports, who's in the European Pro League for uh, Cod World League. So, and they, uh, what they do, stage, what they get, sixth, seventh, something yeah. like that, at the stage one finals of the EU. They're also going to compete in the ESWC as well in the upcoming few months. So we have got the experience, the knowledge there. It's just now like putting into practice. So, so like for example, I'm Gizza, so I've got a, I'm a sub player, and my role basically is slay really, just get as many kills as I can. Whether I mean, obviously Fringe, I'll switch up to a AR, but you'll also see me snipe in S and D. But get as many kills as I can. And I'm sort of the in-game leader, so you'll hear me making a lot of the calls usually. But um, then we've also got Riot, who isn't here right now. But uh, he... I mean, when he started... He played in World War II. Yeah, yeah, sniping plan. Yeah, yeah trick yeah, shot yeah, as well. Let's go home. And then he, um, he got into competitive in Ghosts. Took a break for Advanced Warfare altogether. Didn't play, just stayed on Ghosts. Just sort of like casual pub gaming again. The and then... Uh, we spoke to him, trying to get him. Because all of us are in school together at the moment. So, like, outside the game, we're all good friends. Friends, yeah. So, 
But yeah, so we thought we'd pick him up and things have worked for the whole. We've made two changes so far to the roster and we have all different roles switched as well. Like, I mean, I've gone played in Hulk solely an AR and solely a SMG. Yeah. I think that's one of the things you got to get when you first build a team. Unless you've got perfectly set roles and you're good to get like, you literally mix things up. Where we all, work. Like, what we're doing at the moment is working. So. Yeah. Because I remember in uh, Advanced Warfare, there was, when we did play it, there was um, a drift. He wanted to be a sub player, but his shot of a bow was perfect. And with a bit of convincing, that's why now he's the AR, because his shot's great with it. And it's the same with you, really. You've always been a sub player, but in this yeah, game, you've just it's better than AR. And it's just been better. So I think that's one of the things. So, yeah. yeah. Come on to me. Or Apollo or John. Um, Protect the objective. I've played combat on and off since really like Black Ops One. Like we used to play Black Ops One yeah. together like years ago now. Like I said, that was only like but, pubs. Yeah, uh, we play a lot of different stuff now. Uh, but since then, obviously I've been playing competitively not as long as uh, Connor. But Black Ops One was when I first got into the game. Took a break for a while. Then when Ghost came out, I really started getting more into it. Uh, from the end of Ghosts to the start of Mark's Warfare when I really started playing properly like with Serve as a team and then coming into Black Ops 3 obviously we've been playing pretty much from the very start so uh, another thing again that I want to talk about is uh, what Surge does so every sort of six weeks when there's a break half term full term whatever you want to call it the two week breaks when we get a chance really yeah we uh, try to do like a boot camp or a LAN where uh, the whole team joins. Obviously, we don't have rights here, but we, the whole team comes together to practice because one of the big things, as you probably know, in competitive Call of Duty is your communication. So it's good for us as a team to communicate at because we can all talk things yeah, through as well. Playing together, it's different playing together like in a room to playing like, yeah. like it's, a Yeah, it feels, feels so much better. Like, just the communication and the chemistry again between us to build the chemistry is really important. So. That's basically that's what we do, that's what we try to do as much as we can. And um, let's, let's hopefully we can take that and become better as a team. So, yeah. I mean, well, I took you through the gameplay real quick. I mean, obviously, where it's in theatre, it's hard to tell what's going on exactly. But I'm pretty sure it's 5 3 or 4 4 all. I think it's 4 all. Yeah. I think it's 4 all. I mean, this was taken from a 2v2 GB, so this was me and um, John. So. We try. Well, we play quite a few GBs. We we, we play a lot together. We're yeah. Like like we said earlier, we um, try to do duos almost, like where you can yeah. link with a player and just get really good with them. I mean, you see Scump and Formal are good together, or Crim and Karma. I mean, the history behind it. So that's what we try to do, because I think the more you play together, if you're in a, that situation oh, in a real game, you just yeah. feel better. You you you're confident. You know what you other's doing. So a lot of it comes down to like when we can get on as well. So we see. Um, Alex is committed to hockey. He does that outside of outside of this. So when he's not around, we get in a two v two because we can't do the a team game. And it's just like it's like uh, kind of say it's a good chance to gel with like as as a duo really. So when mm. it comes down to it in a game, even if everyone else is up, we know what each other are doing, so we yeah. can work like that. It's like the team and the thing. Yeah, you see, I think that, that's like I say, it's important to have that chemistry, and that's that's a big thing we do too. But we are. There is potential for another team. I'm not in Call of Duty. This is. We're on the verge of signing a CSGO team. I mean, it's, a, it's very difficult at the moment because James is away at the moment. But hopefully, if all goes yeah, right. If you go, well, well, the way it's looking at the moment is it should be happening by the, by the end of the month. We should have like, a definite on if we're. Picking up a CSGO team or not. Yeah, so hopefully we'll have a CSGO team, but we're also going to look into branching to Smite, and as well as that, maybe a Halo, or we might branch more in PC, so Dota or League of Legends, maybe. Yeah, that's when, I mean, that's just that's like a long way away, though. So this video has come to an end now, and that's the end of the gameplay. So we've covered everything we wanted to cover. Yeah, so hopefully that's given you a brief insight into Surge and the history behind it who we are and what you should expect from us. So thanks YouTube.